So I've set up the example again, just for the sake of uh, rebooting everything for the next set of tasks. And uh, what I want to observe is, again, that the type of my variable p is pointer to int, and that in general, I can make pointer types that point at any type. And then, it's also worth remembering that the variable p is a regular variable. It has a strange looking value because values of type in star are a little bit weird, but there's nothing special about p besides its interesting type. It is a regular variable. I can assign it values. I can assign its value to other things if the types all match up. And we'll see in a few minutes that it's perfectly natural to do that. Um, task number three says, set y to equal x plus 1,000. So what's, what task three is actually asking is this. But it says don't use x. Don't use the name x. We can use the value of x, but we can't use the name x in the assignment statement. So let's, first off, we'll try it. This is obviously wrong. I would, I would not get any marks for this. What I want is to set y to be 1,006. But I can't use the name x. Instead, I have to find some other way there. So I go to my diagram, and I notice that I can get to x by using the name on the box. Or I could start at p and follow one arrow. And so I write that in. I start at p and follow one arrow. So we'll try that. And it gets the right result. So keep in mind, I think the most common mistake, and I don't blame people because the use of the star for this is pretty cryptic. The most common mistake people make when they're working with pointers is that they think that p is 6. But p isn't the value 6. Over on my diagram, p is a box with an arrow in it. If I want the value 6, if I want this thing here, I have to follow that arrow. So what's actually in this box? Just an arrow. If I want to use the variable x, I have to follow that arrow. All right, task number four. Use p to set x to negative 50. So I want to set something to negative 50. OK, what do I want to set? I want to set the value of this box, but I can't use x, and so I get there by starting at p and following one arrow. OK, star p equals negative 50. And it says, then reset p to point at y. So what I want is after I'm done, after I've modified the value of x, I guess I should keep my diagram up to date here. So as of this line, the value of x, the value of y is 1006, and the value of x is now negative 50. And then I want to reset it so that p now contains an arrow that points at y. We saw in the previous video that if you want an arrow pointing at something, you use the ampersand. So I say, OK, I, I'm going to take an arrow pointing at y. I'm going to fight with the text editor about spacing. OK, there we go. I'm going to take an arrow pointing at y, and I'm going to assign it to what? Do I write this? Star p equals ampersand y. So I take an arrow pointing at y, and I put it here? No, I don't want to do that. I want to put my arrow in the box called p. So I write p equals ampersand y. Notice I don't use a star for this, because what I want is for the contents of this box to change. I only use a star if I want to follow an arrow. So here we'll erase this, and we'll write in an arrow that points at y. Another easy way to know whether your assignments are making sense when you're using pointers is to make sure, I call this dimensional analysis because it's very similar to the dimensional analysis you do in math or physics. What you do is you make sure in your assignment that the type of the left-hand side and the type of the right-hand side match up. Unlike int and float, you're not allowed to convert between different pointer types. And so if you're assigning a pointer type, you need to make sure that the types on the left and the types on the right match up. So what's the type of the thing on the left here? Oh, it's int star. p, the variable p, is a pointer to int. OK, what's the type of the thing on the right? So the variable y itself is an int. But if I make an arrow pointing at an int, because that's what ampersand y means, then I'll get an int star, a pointer to int. And so the type of the right is int star, and the type of the left is int star. And if the types match up, I'm allowed to do the assignment. And so this assignment makes sense. If, on the other hand, I had written something like this, well, OK, so the type of this is int star. What is the type of star p? Well, that would be start at p, follow an arrow, which means this is going to be an int. Am I allowed to assign an int star to an int? And the answer is no, you can't. If you're assigning a pointer type, it must be assigned to something of exactly the same pointer type. 
So that's one easy way of uh, checking your work, of making sure the assignment you've written makes sense, that everything adds up. And it's good to have methods like this. It's good to be able to check and double check and triple check because with notation like this, you need the ability to verify what you've done because even if you think you wrote the right thing, it's still pretty easy to make a small mistake. So what I've done here is I've set star p to be negative 50, that uh, a minute ago set x to be negative 50, and then I set p itself to be an arrow pointing at y. There it is. And then I've got a print statement pre-written for myself down here. We'll uncomment it and see what it does. All right, and so x at the end of task four, x is negative 50, that looks good to me. y is 1006, that looks good to me. And then finally, and significantly, star p, start at p, follow an arrow, that equals 1006. And that makes sense, that all adds up because I expect that p now contains an arrow pointing at y. All right, task number, I'm gonna just Use some spacing here. Task number five. So P is still pointing at Y. We leave P the way it is. Create a new pointer Q that points at X. Okay, well that shouldn't be a tough one. X is an int. So if I want to point at X, I want something of type int star, pointer to int. So I make a new pointer called Q and I set the value of Q to be arrow pointing at X. Um, and now I'm gonna have, now my diagram is gonna get even more ugly. So there's Q. Q is a variable of type int star, and uh, maybe we'll do it this way. There it is, now it points at X. And then I've got a pre-written print statement to see if task five was done correctly. So X has the value negative 50, so I expect that star Q, if my diagram is accurate, should also have the value negative 50. So we'll try that out. And it does. X is negative 50, Y and star P are both 1006, star Q is negative 50. Okay, so task number six, and then we'll switch videos um, because I think that allow ourselves a breather between videos. Using only the, uh, actually we'll do this. Using only the variables P and Q, copy the value of X into Y. So I want to set the value, so the, currently the value of X is negative 50. And I want to set Y to be negative 50, but I'm only allowed to use P and Q. So I want to set something to be negative 50. So how do I get the value of x? Well, let's see, I can use the name x, but I'm not allowed to. I could also start at q and follow an arrow to get the value of x. So I'm gonna set something to be the value of x, star q. How do I get the value of y? Well, I start at p and I follow an arrow. So I write star p equals star q. So follow one arrow from q, get the value of negative 50. We can actually do this assignment in reverse. So this would be negative 50 and that would be an int, because on my diagram, if I start at Q and follow an arrow, I get to an int. And then I take that negative 50 and I store it wherever I end up if I start at P and I follow one arrow, and that would be here. All right, so we'll, we'll try running that. And, and uh, we'll save the file first. A bit anticlimactic otherwise. All right, and now everything is equal to negative 50. Uh, so what I wanna talk about in the next set, the, the pointer two or three is gonna be, I mean, if, if it hasn't already been a steep learning curve, we're gonna go basically vertical. We're, I mean, the learning curve so far, here's time. <laughs> the learning curve so far has been getting steep, but uh, in the next video, we're gonna, we're gonna be hitting this asymptote here. And uh, you'll see what I mean, but basically what it comes down to is that we can create a pointer to any type. The destination of our pointer variables can be any type. If I have a float, I could make a variable of type pointer to float or float star. If I have an int, I could make a variable of type pointer to int or int star. I can make a pointer to any type. But also, a pointer type itself is a type. So int star is a type. And the question then is, can I make a pointer to something of type int star? 